Hey guys, how's it going? So in this video we're going to be talking about three things in GTA Online that Rockstar Games needs to change immediately. So anyway, let's just hop right into it. So guys, the first thing on our list is going to be English Dave. So as you guys all know, sometimes NPCs will call you in GTA Online asking you to do things. Well, most of the time, you can just hang up these phone calls real easily. However, with English Dave, you cannot hang up the phone calls and he talks for a straight like one or two minutes before you can finally decline his call. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you guys watching this have heard of a YouTuber named Gilly Master. So basically what happened with him was a few days ago, he made a video on YouTube where basically he dealt with this English Dave problem. He was about to get to a submarine and out of nowhere, English Dave called, and he started a huge conversation, like a one or two minute phone call with him, and Gilly Master had to go all the way back to the mainland to do the mission. So in my opinion, Rockstar should really change that. I'm also pretty sure that you guys have also heard of another character called Tom Connors. So basically, when he wants you to do a mission for him, he sends you a text message, and then you have the option to either decline the text message, or answer it, and then you do the mission. So they should do the same thing with this with English Dave too. That way English Dave won't waste like one or two minutes of your time. And also before you guys just leave a comment on this video saying that you can just pause the screen when English Dave calls you and then immediately unpause it so then the call will go away. I know that trick works but I don't think every player knows about that. So that's why I decided to include English Dave on this list. So anyway on to the next one. So guys, the second thing that Rockstar should fix has something to do with the Moore's Mutual Insurance option in GTA Online. So if you lost your vehicle or if it got destroyed, if you call it back with Moore's Mutual Insurance, if you have two vehicles that are in different properties, you have to call Moore's Mutual Insurance and then you have to hang up and call them again. Now in my opinion, this makes no sense at all. Rockstar should add an option where if you're at Moore's Mutual Insurance, there should be an option to claim all vehicles at once. If you guys don't know, on the old generation consoles, PS3 and Xbox 360, there actually is an option to do that. You can claim all your vehicles, no matter what property they're in, if they're not in the same property. So Rockstar should do the same thing on Xbox One, PS4, and with the remastered PS5 and Xbox Series X. In my opinion, this doesn't make sense because sometimes you have to call Moore's Mutual Insurance over and over and over again just so you can claim your vehicles. So that's why I think there should be an option where you should just claim all your vehicles from Moore's Mutual Insurance all at one time so you can save a lot of your time. So guys, the third and final thing that Rockstar should fix is the God Mode problems. So if you guys saw my last GTA video, we actually fought a God Mode player. So if you wanna see that video, I'll leave a link to it in the description down below. Now, like I said in that video, they can't really fix God Mode because as soon as they patch one glitch, a player finds a way around it in a workaround just days later. And unlike the modders, God Mode glitches are a problem all over GTA Online platforms. You'll see God Mode users on PS4 and Xbox One. Although on PS4, they're more orbital spam glitchers than God Mode glitchers, but both are still problems anyway. So I'm just hoping that in the future, or when GTA Online releases for PS5 and Series X, this November, Rockstar Games finally finds out a way to get rid of all the God Mode glitchers, and then that way they won't be a problem anymore for any players in GTA Online. So if that hopefully is the case, then we have around 4 months to go until God Mode is finally fixed. So guys, that's going to be pretty much everything for this video. Those are the 3 things that in my opinion Rockstar Games needs to change immediately. So let me know in the comments down below if you agree with any of the points I made or if you disagree with them. And like always, don't forget to like and subscribe to see more videos like this on the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video.